All right, we've got a somewhat of a clickbaity one here. If AI is helping people code better, why aren't products getting better? Now I think this is a very dumb take, but uh, I applaud this person. This is my test for putting out their dumb takes on the internet. And um, so we can all uh, learn, have the, have, have the conversation, put out your wrong take, and let's just destroy it. <laughs> so um, if products are getting better. Now, maybe you're looking at the wrong products. You're using the wrong things. So I think you've got to find people that are using AI in the right way. Two, two things that I think make a difference here. Um, first, they got to be, not be using copyright, right? Because otherwise they're just going too slow. They're not evolving. And the math there is, is ETA. Where's ETA? Um, e, evolution time of ideas, the time needed to test alterations divided by the factorial of the number of ideas in the assembly pool. So if you're using copyright, licenses, patents, you're gonna, it's gonna slow you down. And so you need to think ahead, where's the puck going? People are gonna realize those things are, copyright is retarded and we're going to get rid of it. People that don't, that stick to it are gonna go extinct. Don't even have to worry about them. Um, it's fucking retarded. So, so, so any product that's got copyright, that's got licenses, whatever. Yes, those are going to be fucking stone age products. They're not going to be getting better. So look for stuff that is just public domain and that stuff's going to be rapidly getting better. So that's number one. The second thing is you've got all these people still building on complicated stacks. Um, and like, you know, lots of of old school frameworks that were developed over 10 years. You gotta look for people that are developing, that saw this coming, that saw um, saw a future um, 10 years ago. They were like, AI is getting better. We all, I don't think anyone knew how quickly it was going to get here, but a lot of us saw it coming. Um, there, you know, I remember attending a program synthesis conference back in like 2019. I, I started investing in AI companies 2016 that were doing program synthesis. And, and my research has been in that for world for a long time. And so we were looking at what is the future of programming languages and what it, basically it, and it comes down to simplicity. So um, being able to do more with less. Um, intelligent programs, and we have a formula for intelligence, is um, I equals um, C over S. So an intelligent program is one that can um, predict more of the world if you um, divide it by the size of the program. So shorter programs are better. I mean, you know, Paul Graham wrote a great essay about this a long time ago. Um, where is it? Short. No, nope, life is short. Yeah. Um, something code. What the hell was it called? Something about like an advantage. Um, Ace, what language is succinctness is power okay so so he doesn't have to give you a formula but but succinctness is power so now what is the ultimate stack of succinctness you know um, it is um it's particle notation it's particles scroll and stack so uh, it's, sorry particles parsers and scroll the pps stack so look for products that are built like builder news that are like tldb that are built on the the um, PPS stack, and those are getting rapidly better very fast because you've got um, not just AI helping build these things, like this nice, simple gradient background with a nice twinkling stars to kind of set the aura on building news. That was done by AI. They are to describe it, and it's nice. It provides a nice, I think, I think, it provides a nice vibe for this site. And we built this site in uh, less than 24 hours. We launched we kind of been talking about it for years and then friday came around we we started coding it launched it yesterday and and now it's it's gotten pretty neat traffic already and um it's a great site and we got a nice spike already and um and that's just the beginning and um and look it works offline you can get get it as json it's all open source all public domain it reiterate fast so so I think this this take is really really wrong.
Um, and that's just, we're just talking about software. So now, so now, um, where the hell did it go here? If AI is helping people code better, all right. So now let's get to your take. Oh, there's not even a take. Oh, you're you're using the wrong products. That's why. It comes down to that. I thought. Sorry, I thought this was going to be something to respond to, not just a question. So, yeah. So start using products that were designed that new 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 ideas that saw this future coming and were skating to where the puck was going and um, build on those. I mean, look at the scroll hub, right? This is, AI has, has helped us build this thing. I mean, stay sassy, stay sassy. We're just gonna, we just launched you a new website and this is live and you've got a Git clone and you can history and you can duplicate it. Hello, sassy. And now it's live and it, here's the URL. I mean, talk about like, try to build a website using the old school stack. It's fucking awful. It's going to take you five minutes. We just did this in 100 milliseconds. Don't tell me products aren't getting better. You're just using the wrong products. You got to look for the, who are the cutting edge people? What are they doing? What are they building? How are they using AI? I mean, AI can write this, the PPS stack better than, than, than it can write other code. And it's wild because this, it, it's not even trained on PPS code, but it was designed with, with um, really forward looking math in mind. And um, anyway, so stay sassy. That is my response. All right. Love the question. Provocative. Little clickbaity, but hey, you got you got me responding. So cheers. Check out Builder News. Cheers.